video, I'm turning this $4 leather jacket into a seat for my moped. Okay, so I'm going to explain a little bit of what the idea behind this video is before we get right into the build itself. And that is that I want to add some steampunk elements to the moped. So this is going to be a series of videos. I've got several projects which are already in the, the work. Several of these are sort of being done currently. Uh, but with this one, I want it to sort of look like almost a suede saddle. And because the leather I got is um, a very sort of rich chocolate color um, and brass works really well with steampunk, I'm going to go with uh, brass brads going around uh, the side. So the image that you're looking at right now is the bike as it is without any steampunk modifications. Uh, and I just put that there because uh, once this is all done, it'll be neat to see what it was and then what it's become. So the first step is obviously uh, removing the seat. Now this is a Honda Ruckus, uh, and so doing that is actually really, really easy. Uh, once that was off, then I had to cut out the back panel of the jacket to get at the leather. Uh, this was kind of difficult, so I suggest using actual fabric scissors, uh, which I just didn't use for some reason. Then aligning the seams of the jacket was pretty important because I knew that I wasn't going to get a single piece of leather. I knew that there was going to be at least uh, one, uh, one seam going along lengthwise and two going along uh, sideways, so I wanted those to be as even as possible. So it took a little bit of fiddling with the piece just to get it just right, uh, at which point I ran into a problem, which is how to attach the leather over top of the existing seat. And because I'm using suede, I chose to leave uh, the previous layers of plastic and pleather on the seat just because water will get through the suede and I don't want it to get to the foam and start um, any kind of mold issues there. Uh, I tried several different things. Eventually I found that just a common stapler worked well if I just uh, used it as a regular stapler instead of opening it up and trying to use it like a wood stapler and pressing very firmly and that was what I got the best results with. And I probably had to throw out about half the staples that I tried. Uh, just that the seat underneath was very hard plastic so that was actually pretty hard to do. I did eventually manage to get some wood staples in there which are a little bit thicker and give a little bit more um, stability, but because of how thin the uh, seat is and how hard the plastic is, I was really limited with my options. So once it was all stapled down, I then had to trim off the excess. This was a pretty easy process and pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and like I said, because it's suede and suede doesn't do very well in the rain, I then took a product which is meant to cover tents um, to waterproof them, and I rubbed that into uh, the seat. Now it's actually a spray product, but the spray was broken, so I did my best with just rubbing it in. I do plan to keep this covered. This is more of just an extra precaution. Uh, and it won't do too much. Okay, so I now have a leather motorcycle seat, but uh, it looked kind of plain, and I decided that I was going to add the brads going around. And I had several ideas for how I might do that, but I decided that I would just buy some brass furniture brads and use those. But the nail on the end was too long to be of any use, so with great difficulty and care, I cut off uh, the nails, leaving a short little bit of nail, which is sort of uh, just about flush um, with the edge of the brad. Uh, be very careful if you're trying to do something like this. Uh, I had little sharp bits of metal flying all over the place for the first little bit until I decided that I was going to cover them with a cloth when I did the actual crimping. That way, if anything goes flying, it's just going to hit the cloth and it's not going to go anywhere, and I'm not going to have any problems with that. Uh, and then I tried several different methods to attach these to the leather. I had about um, 30 brads and I took four of those out because I wanted to use them for other uh, parts of the bike. And I sort of spaced out where I wanted them. And for the first little bit, I used, uh, I marked it down with a pen 
but then I decided that I would just eyeball it. And what I found to be the most effective way of doing this was to take an awl and poke through the leather, uh, through the pleather underneath, all the way into the foam and just uh, get as big a hole as I could. Then I would take uh, crazy glue. I use Gorilla Glue because I really um, find that it, uh, it, it bonds things very, very well. And I would dip the uh, nail and just a little bit of the head in crazy glue. And I wore gloves for this so that I wouldn't glue my fingers or uh, make too much of a mess with the glue. And then just uh, put the nail in the hole and press it for a couple seconds, let the glue set, and then I could move on to the next brat. This was a pretty slow process, um, but I just wanted to make sure that I got them spaced the way that I wanted them to be spaced and it was really worth that extra effort in the end, and I think it got a really good look. Um, and then obviously the last step uh, was just to reattach the seat back where it was. And the final product turned out absolutely amazing. Uh, it looks awesome. It doesn't wiggle or move or feel off uh, when I'm actually on the motorcycle. So it, it went really, really well, and I think it's uh, a really good steampunk aesthetic. It sort of looks like a, a saddle or um, like the overly upholstered look that you would see uh, with old motor cars. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bonus on to the end of this video. Because I had so much leather left over, I decided that I would modify the hand grips as well. So I did this by cutting out two pieces per hand grip. One is a circle with notches in it, which I fit over the end like a cap and then secured in place just with some thread that I had lying around. Uh, the other bit is a rectangle which I used an existing seam uh, so that when it's finally wrapped around the seam will be showing uh, it's a fake seam but it will look uh, better than a raw edge. Then the two edges uh, which would also be visible I just folded the leather over and glued it down. I used masking tape to line it up then I just wrapped it around the rubber grip. Uh, I did use uh, some crazy glue to glue it to the leather cap piece and also to itself, but not to the rubber. That way, if I ever want to take it off or redo it, I can. I ended up with a pretty good look, but to match it with the seat, I took uh, one brad each and I just stuck that in the end exactly the same way that I had done uh, with the seat. I ended up with a really cool look. I really like it and uh, it sort of makes it match a little bit. Uh, now the seat isn't just the only element with this aesthetic. Now I'm going to have more videos coming up in this series. I've got more modifications to this moped that I think are really cool and uh, you'll get those videos soon. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.